bush medicine is um, really important in that if we know what the plants are and what they're used for, we take better care of ourselves. Our people have been using it for thousands of years without interference. So today we're at this beautiful place down at Baldivis called the Children's Forest. And there's um, so many um, trees and plants growing around here. I'll be presenting a workshop to the children and talking about all the um, things that I learned from my elders as I was growing up and we're going to take a little walk and show them some of the plants that are growing here and what they can use those plants for. These seeds in here, they are kwandong seeds from the kwandong tree, a native cherry, and that is bush tucker. You can crack that open and there's a kernel in there that you can eat. Now we'll be starting to ripen on the trees. This is the season for the kwandong, so when you're going out the bush along some of the country roads, you'll see all the Kwandong trees growing. Like Kwandong is the generic word for uh, these all over Australia, but uh, Noongar, we call them Wongal. If we're going to survive, we're going to have to know the reason why those plants are there, what, what their role plays in our lives. So they provide us with shelter, they provide us with food, they provide us with warmth and they provide shelter and food for the creatures, the animals, the birds that are in the bush. I think it's really important that schools uh, start including uh, Noongar culture into their uh, curriculum and it's really important that they um, use an elder from that community. It's, it makes um, a better understanding between our two cultures and when the non-Aboriginal kids, um, they're like little sponges, they're hungry to soak all this you know, information up. They, they really want to learn nowadays. The two-way science, I just think it's a really creative way of working. This is what it's known as a parrot bush, or we call it the pudgeon. So if you catch this early in the morning, or late in the evening when uh, it's cool, you can suck the nectar from that flower. You can soak those in water as well, and you get a nice, um, good nectar from that. And then pour it in your water bottle. You've got an energy drink to keep you going at school, so you're not <coughs> buying sugary drinks from the shop. Today, I think it's vital that our children learn, especially on country. It gives you a a sense of peace and you can s smell the bush, you're hearing the birds and it's like a whole healing process taking place and there's no telephones, no busy traffic, it's just you and the bush. There's a little secret about these little bottles. So we're producing natural soap. So you can use that when you find that. If you haven't got any soap and you need to have a wash, you just use a red-eyed wattle or willowa. Right, I now start rubbing. You just have to go for a little bit to get it really um, lathered up. Can you get up some more? Because uh, a lot of our families um, were placed in missions, taken away from family and culture, it's also then relearning our um, Aboriginal kids about how our world and the creatures and the plants around us fit into uh, the world of science. The two-way science, I think, will bring a greater understanding to non-Aboriginal children how we see the world and how it's helped us survive over the years.